Lord, it is our prayer today that this student center become a hub where your presence is found in every room and space. We pray that it becomes a place where godly community takes place, where fun and fellowship echo through its halls, a place where minds are sharpened, bodies nourished, and understanding deepened. Well, hello, everybody. Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's how our former president, Bill Armstrong, would have greeted you today. Former President Armstrong used to say, facilities don't make a great university, but great universities have great facilities, and this is a great facility. He would have said that it was made possible by the one now we dedicate it to, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I was there with Mr. Anschutz when Bill Armstrong came in and, and put forth this idea. And uh, we looked at it and said, you know, we generally like programs over buildings, but you've already got the programs. You just need a building to help grow them even faster. So we said, let's go for it. We are deeply grateful to the Anschutz Foundation that helped lead the charge to make this amazing facility a reality. And we're also grateful to the more than 12,000 donors for 17,000 gifts that made the Anschutz Student Center possible. Buildings are important, but I want you to know that the greatest kind of building project that we're involved in is the building of lives. Leaders who will love their God and serve Him and serve Christ and pursue their calling in every field imaginable, every honorable vocation. This building is as good as any building you'll see on a college campus and I can't wait for you to go into it and experience it. So design took us about 12 months, construction took us about 15 months, and I'm gonna peg occupancy at between 50 and 100 years unless Jesus comes back earlier. We are thrilled that CCU has called Lakewood home. We have a great partnership. I look forward to another 103 years as we continue to see it grow. This place will serve as a marker in our community as we dine together and have those conversations that are hard, that cut deep, because those are the kind of conversations that grow us into the people that we are created to be. The unity and the things that we will create here will outlive the building itself. And today, we mark that beginning.